emerging diabetics. Um, as you can see on this chart, um, this is a this is a plate. This thing symbolizes your dinner plate or your lunch plate or your breakfast plate. All right, this symbolizes your plate, like when you are going to be dishing, serving your husband or your wife or any of your member that is diabetic. This is the dinner plate how it's supposed to be. But before I go on and explain this that this uh, diagram, I need to stress something out to all my fans there. Please, um, please, and please. There are one or two two members in the community here that I see that they have a hidden agenda, or uh, they come into my platform to spread false information. And I'm here to address it. And I'm going to address it once more again when I'm going to do a live program. First of all, these members here, uh, one is known as Ejiro Abubume. And the other one is uh, Frank Anande. All right. Uh, these two members are causing problem to my platform. And I have no choice than to block and delete them from the community. And the reason being is... My platform is not for false information. My platform here is not for misleading individuals. Nobody's paying me to do this. I'm doing it out of the bottom of my heart uh, to share and help my people in African continent and all over the world uh, in enlightening them about the dangers of diabetics, how they can resolve it to, you know, uh, avoid it or if you are in it if you are a diabetic how you can manage it because I've noticed this issue of a diabetes in Africa is a death warrant uh, people are dying because of lack of knowledge and again the government are not helping so I solicited within myself as an advocate to spread the news spread the gospel in African continent and all over the world what is diabetics if you have it how to live and manage with it. It is not a killer, but if you or uh, if you if you underestimate it, then it became it became it becomes a killer to you. But if you understand the basis of diabetics, you can live a normal life. It can be controlled, but you have to be disciplined. You have to listen to your doctor. You have to listen to your dietitian. But that is why I created this channel, this platform, to have to have a community where we can come and speak in one voice, share our experiences and find for a solution how to help each other. But I've noticed there are some mis there are some people, you know, they have hidden agenda and they tend to use other people's platform to spread uh, mis misleading information. Please, this platform is not for misleading information. And if I notice any member or any fan that is spreading misleading information, I'm going to block that person once and for all and if i see your picture again then i'm going to report it i warn if i have warned these members that place disease from falsifying information regarding diabetics in my platform if you believe that you have a better agenda or if you believe that you have a cure for a diabetics, go and open your own platform and spread it and bear the consequences of spreading false information. You don't come to my platform using it to spread false information and telling people that diabetes can be cured. That if taken and then you are referring them to a doctor that did, this doctor cure, cured you of your diabetes. So for that, go and try this medicine. If that doctor has if that doctor cure, uh, has a medicine that cures diabetes, let that doctor open up a page on Facebook and advertise, speak for himself, and look for patients. And whatever that comes out of his medication, he will bear the consequences and go for jail for it. You don't come on somebody's platform and start spreading false information, telling people, telling my loyal fans that there is a cure for diabetes. This is misleading people telling people false information that there is a cure for diabetics, telling them there is a doctor posting a posting doctor's contact information on my platform, spreading false information that they, this doctor can cure of diabetics. And I warn them they should exist and they continue and I have no choice than to block them 
And if I see them really which coming with another profile again, I'll go and open another Facebook profile to get access to my profile. I have no, uh, then I've I've no uh, any more remorse than to report it to Facebook to uh, to ban them permanently. So, please, my fans, there is no cure for diabetics. I'm a diabetic. My mom has been living with a diabetic for the past 35 years. She's living today because she's an educated, enlightened, enlightened and a lecturer before she retired. She knows there is no cure for diabetics. There are pre presidents, presidents of countries, celebrities that have all the money it takes to do whatever it takes if there is a cure to use their money to go and buy that cure. If there is a cure for diabetics, I have the resources to go and buy it and cure it. I don't see how people can be so selfish and dubious and come on somebody's platform and start sending false information that is a cure, that go and see this doctor. They posted that information on my platform, that go and see this doctor that he cured me of my diabetes. So if you go, what kind of stupid, why would people take advantage for the vulnerables? I'm here to help the vulnerables and somebody have the mind to come into somebody's platform to play on people who are vulnerable in their weak point and telling them there are there is care for diabetics. So I have no reason than to block them from this pro, uh, community. I don't need them as a fan anymore. I block them and they will not ha have access. If you feel that you have a cure for diabetics, go and open your own platform and spread that false information so that if anything comes out of it, if you mislead somebody to death, then you are going to bear the consequences for misleading people to death. Mine is to say the truth. I'm here to guide you guys. And I've repeated it in my videos. I'm here to guide, to render my assistance, to open up your eyes. There are things you're supposed to know about diabetes. And I keep saying it. Go and see your doctor. Your doctors and your dietitian are the two people you should listen to. Do not listen to anybody that is not your family doctor. Your doctor, if you have a family doctor treating your diabetics, you are in a safe hand. I don't see somebody. You are educated and an illiterate from somewhere who doesn't know the four corners of school will come and tell you and educate somebody that there is a cure for diabetics and you are listening to that person. Don't allow to be fooled by these people disguising on people's platform trying to sell an agenda that doesn't exist. There are leaders, there are presidents of a country that are diabetic. Today, if there is a cure, they will use their power as president of a country and go and buy that cure. And then somebody that is an illiterate, that doesn't see the four corners of, will not tell you illiterate, somebody who is educated, that there is a cure for diabetics, comfort, let's go to my doctor. And then he's going to, the doctor is going to mix something for you, for you to go home and take, and then after a couple of months, you find yourself battling, say, try to look for somebody to donate a kidney or liver for you. The same people will lead you to your death and they will go after your wife when you are in your grave. They will lead you to your death. As soon as you are in your grave, they will go after you to sleep with your wife. So, please, my fans, I have said it repeatedly. Anybody that tells you there is a cure for diabetes or try to tell you that it will take you to a, a, a kind of, which kind of doctor, I don't know, get a police and arrest that person, the person is supposed to be in jail. If anybody approach you and tell you there is a cure for diabetes, that is going to cure you permanently, report that person to the police, the person is supposed to be arrested and sent to jail. So, place and place, I do not want anybody on my platform. As much as I respect all my fans, you are the reason why I'm here. But as much as I respect all my fans, I don't want to be disrespected in the area that I know best. 
and somebody coming to my platform to tell my respectable fans there is a cure for diabetes, Say, giving them contact of a doctor's number and address where to go. If I see you posting such information, I will block you without even thinking twice. This platform is not for misleading. I don't want anybody to take advantage of my fans. People that are in their vulnerable state looking for solutions and assistance and somebody have the mind to tell them there is a cure for diabetics. I'm not going to tolerate that in my platform. If you know you have a cure for diabetes, go and open your own platform and then lure them to your platform. If anything happens to them, then you should bear the consequences. You should go and spend the rest of your life in jail. But do not come to my platform to spread false information. So please, that is why I want to stress this out. And I'm going to stress it out again on my live video because I was pissed off today while in my office and then uh, saying no, I, I have no reason. I warned them for the first time, warned them for the second time, and they keep persisting, posting nonsense, misleading information. Then I have no reason than to ban, ban them, you know, block them permanently from this side. So they can carry their agenda to another site and then look for somebody to deceive. But do not allow anybody to deceive you, telling you there is a cure for diabetes. Because at the end of the day, they will lead it to your death, and same people will go after your family. And what puzzles me is that you are literate, you are an educated somebody that's well educated. Why would somebody who is not even an educated, someone who don't have, doesn't even see the four corners of the world, come to tell you there is a cure for diabetics, and you foolishly follow them to that doctor, and the doctor mix whatever he's going to mix and give you. And then you go home, feel good for one or two days, you feel that you are cured. And then after one month, you are rushed to the hospital looking for a kidney, somebody to donate the kidney to you or liver to you. So please, you guys have to be wise enough. I said the only people you have to listen regarding your treatment of diabetes are your doctors and dietitians. Anybody, I'm here to guide you. You are not my patients. I'm not going to, you know, advise you. I can only guide you. And nobody should take advantage of any of my fans in this platform by posting misleading information. And then the other aspect is uh, one lady start telling me about what is uh, carbon hydrate or what is about weed, that weed is carbon hydrate. You know, I don't, pick, before you pick, if you are not learning, if you are not, if you don't understand, ask questions to be explained. Don't make an argument that it makes you look foolish. I'm talking about somebody, uh, Franca. Nandi making a foolish argument that doesn't I don't know I don't I don't I don't know I don't know what she's if she's a doctor or if she's a nurse I pity those patients that goes to her because all the nonsense she has been writing there was so in fact I was I don't know what to say how can somebody tell me that wheat wheat is carbon hydrate If you call wheat carbon hydrate, what are you going to call yam or cassava? People don't understand and they don't want to be, they don't want to be asked questions and say, please, can you clarify this? I'm, I'm lost here. Can you help? Or send me a private message. You know, can you explain this? Then I can explain better. But don't go and make foolish of yourself by posting things on a platform. And when I re read it, you are making a fool of yourself. How can somebody on this planet tell me that wheat is carbon hydrate? Listen, there is no any food on earth that doesn't contain little or no carbon hydrate. There is no any food on earth that doesn't contain little or no carbon hydrate. Every food you eat contains carbon hydrate. But when you are diabetic, that is why they keep emphasizing less carbon hydrate, more fiber. Reduce the intake of carbon hydrate, but consume more of fiber. Even the fruit you take, there is carbon hydrate in it. The question is not that you are taking a fruit. The question is the quantity at which you are taking that food because you are diabetic. And that is why they say, learn how to count your carbs. And instead of you, instead of her to send me a private message to explain better for her, She's making a frivolous argument about weed being carbon hydrate, about uh, um, um, uh, other things that diabetics are, that diabetics is, rever is reversible, all diabetics, are rever all diabetics are reversible. How can you tell me type 1, type 2 diabetes is reversible? 
you know, people read something they don't know how to, they don't know how to comprehend, and they come on a platform and start making fool of themselves. How can somebody go on a platform and say type two, type one is reversible? There is only one diabetics that can be reversed, which is pre-diabetics or borderline diabetics. If that is caught on time, it can be reversed with discipline and commitment. Type one, type two can never be reversed. And why should she come on my platform and want to pick an argument on something that I know better than her and start telling people that type one, type two can be reversed? That she has, she has, she has reversed her own. Wheat is carbon hydrate. And all kinds of foolish things she was saying there that I, you know, I, I don't need to respond to her. I just block her because she's making a fool of herself. And I don't want my fans to be misled. Because anybody that read that thing she's put in there will start thinking, you know, people have an agenda. They don't have any solution for you or to help you. They only come into a community to sow an agenda, to sow doubts. And when they sow that in you, that is how you become vulnerable for you to be preyed upon. Because I don't see no reason why somebody of today will tell me wheat is carbon hydrate. Then if you tell me wheat has carbon, yes, wheat has carbon, it's less carbon hydrate, but more is rich in fiber. Go and ask any dietitian. What is weight? Oatmeals, brands, B R A B R A N, multi grains. These are the things they recommend to you to consume as a diabetic. They are not fools to say consume this and less carbon hydrate. And then somebody come on a platform to say wheat is carbon hydrate. Why would you ask people to consume wheat? And diabetes is reversible. Instead of her to say, look, no. That pre, that pre diabetes is reversible. Now she's general, generalizing that all diabetes are reversible. And whoever that doesn't understand what diabetes is all about will believe her. That is why I say diabetes is understanding. That is why the Bible says lack of knowledge. My people die because lack of knowledge. If you understand diabetics, nobody can pray on you or take advantage of you. It's like me telling you that I have. I, I, I have, a, I, I have, I have, it's like me telling you, I can give you numbers. I, I know how to give you numbers to win a lottery. It's like me telling you, go and meet the, come and meet me there. I, can, I, I know the formula for you to win a lottery. If I know how a formula to win a lottery, do you think I'm going to share it with you? I will keep using that formula to be winning every lottery because I, I don't want anybody to win the money. If you feel that you can cure diabetics, there are a lot of pharmaceutical companies that are looking for, that have billions of dollars to pay you to give them that formula to cure diabetics. There are multi-million dollar pharmaceutical companies looking for people who have the cure. You have the cure for diabetics. You can't open a Facebook page and advertise by yourself. Rather, you are going on somebody's platform to advertise false information. You have the formula to cure diabetics. You cannot, con you know, approach pharmaceutical companies or your government and say, "Look, this is my medicine; it can cure diabetics." No, rather you want to go and, and pray for innocent individuals that are vulnerable, and you free them of their money, give them fake medicine, and they go and die in their house, and then you look for somebody else, and then you go after their wife. My people, please, please. Do not, I wouldn't allow, and don't allow anybody to play on your intelligence. Anywhere, I quote me anywhere, anybody that approach you that say diabetes has a cure, follow me, arrest him, take him to the police. He deserves to go to jail because you don't know how many people that have died through him, through him. Why are Africans so strong? I don't know, I'm African, all right? But I don't know why we don't want to wake up from our slumbers. Why do people take advantage of vulnerable people? You know you are selling false information, you come out and say you have a cure for diabetics, and there are pharmaceutical companies looking for this the cure. You can't approach them and sell them with millions of dollars or have a reality. Rather, you go on the corner of your house in one bush and then you are concord, mixing concord mixture and you're giving to people who are not exposed. They drink it 
within six months they passed away and you, you go after their wife say you want to you want their wife to be part of your you want to marry their wife you want to sleep with them sleep with her please my people don't allow anybody to take advantage of you in this issue of diabetics and anybody who wants to challenge me in issue of diabetes i'm prepared set a date and time let's meet and debate it and you tell me which doctor cures diabetics with what so I, i'm just pissed off today and you know i say i'm going to express this you know so i'm you know i'm just i'm going to repeat it again in my next broadcast but please my fans I respect you all. I love you guys all. But if I see anybody posting misleading information about diabetes has a cure, I'm going to block you. I don't want any member of any member of my fan to be taken advantage. They are vulnerable. These are people that are looking for how to better their life, looking for a second chance to live, and then somebody is trying to take advantage of them, telling them there is selling them a false hope that is cure for diabetes. Or telling them wheat is wheat is carbon hydrate, don't eat it. So, please, as we journey on this community, let's just if, if if you guys see any kind of misleading information, please send me a message because I have a lot of tons of messages coming to me that I cannot answer, except one I'm going through and as I was able to read. But if you any, any if any of you so see somebody posted something that says misleading that diabetes has a cure please send me a private message that so that i can go and search for that person and block that person off because people are using my platform to sell to my fans free them of their money and they go and die please if you know you can cure diabetes go and open your facebook page send your product there and whatever that comes out for out of it face the consequences if you have a cure for diabetes, there are pharmaceutical companies looking for you. Go and sell them and collect millions, millions of dollars. Leave the vulnerable people alone. Leave them of their money. These people are vulnerable. They are, they are people who are looking for help. They are trying to survive with their family. If you know that you have a cure for diabetes, there are multi-million dollar pharmaceutical companies all over the world. Go and meet them, sign a contract with them, give them the formula to produce, produce in large quantity and make your money, become a millionaire, a billionaire. But leave the vulnerable people on looking for ways to survive with their diabetic. Don't come to my platform and trying to freeze them of their money and trying to advertise false information. I'm not going to allow that. So that is it. I'm going to go back to the drawing that you are seeing there. This is how your plate, if you're a diabetic patient, this is how your plate is going to be when you're serving your dinner or your lunch. You see, what I write there, forget about what I write there. I want you guys to pay attention. I want you guys to pay attention to the size of the vegetable. Look at the size of the vegetable. Look at the size of the fruit. Look at the size of the protein and look at the size of the grain. I should have put percentage in it. If I go by percentage, you see that the whole grain there will have the smallest percentage. The vegetable will have the largest percentage. The fruit will have the larger and the protein. But the smallest percentage is going to go to grain. This is what is called healthy diet. If you are, as a diabetic, this is how your food should, your plate of food should be. Time has passed when your plate is all about cornmeal they give you serve you the everything cornmeal you know like your, sw your swallow your semolina there is no vegetable there's no fruit they just serve you with uh, the whole cornmeal and the soup and you eat it and at the end of the day you are dying slowly your sugar level is pumping up your other organs are damaged you are going blind you're having you're having diabetes fit you keep complaining why am i taking my diabetic medication i'm still my sugar is always up because you are consuming more than you require on carbon hydrate because your food doesn't have vegetable doesn't have fruit it doesn't have protein you're only consuming carbon hydrate that is why it is said consume less carbon hydrate more fiber food less carb more fiber 
all right if that i know dieting is the most is the hardest aspect in controlling diabetes but if you can effectively change your diet effectively eat healthy with your medication and exercising you'll be able to control your diabetics so when you're serving your food it should look like this vegetable fruit protein your cornmeal whatever you're swallowing there and then your water h2o water on the side all right it is very important it is very important you balance your diet make sure at least in a day make if you are after you finish eating and you feel of craving you feel of munching something get an orange peel an orange and take orange is going to keep you for a long period of time it's going to fill you up orange apple cucumber those are going to fill you up and keep you for a longer period of time before you start feeling feeling to you know munch again but the most important is that eat less carbohydrate and more fiber so that is why i just draw this uh dinner i call it dinner plates or lunch plate whichever it is or your breakfast but it should look something like this okay so i'm going to explain more in details i'm going to explain more in details about dieting because i see my people have they are finding it very difficult to understand how to change their diet because in african african continent they don't have this this kind of food is very expensive they only know about carbohydrate carbohydrate which is more affordable and all the question i'm getting is that how do we how do i survive without my swallow how do i survive without my corn meal because i know we go to farm the question is that you are battling a, a terminal illness and the only way to avoid that sudden death is to go by this way you have to live the other way you've been living before eat it in a moderation once you are diabetic everything is about moderation you have to eat your food in moderation yes your body needs carbohydrate because it's going to supply you the energy that you need It's the main brain fuel that your body needs to function every day but once you're diabetic you have to lessen it not more eating it the way you are eating before you have to lessen it because the more you pump carbohydrate into your system the more you are causing more damage so that is why everything is about moderation you have to eat in a smaller portion that is why they ask you eat four spread your food about four times in a day every four four hours because as a diabetic every four five to four, four to five hours you are going to be feeling hungry again because your blood sugar always fluctuate so it is very important you master this so i'm going to i'm going to keep going on this diet dieting issue because that is where i see the problem is i'm going to eat. i'm going to see what i'm going to do to make it very easy that you guys can adopt to it and change the rate okay so i would like to read your comments keep sharing keep subscribing and please keep an eye if you see any misleading information about somebody having a cure by diabetes send me a private message and i'm gonna i'm gonna warn the person to desist and if the person continue again then i have no child and the blood that person like these two people that i block i warn them i warn them and they keep doing it they keep advertising one doctor that can cure and do you know the most annoying aspect these people are not even a, my member they are not even a follower they don't follow me it's because i went to my uh, platform to see if they are my they don't follow me so all they do was they come to my platform and posting misleading information. So if you guys see anything that is not adding up, send me a private message that social person posted something. Copy it to me, then I can follow up. We have to we have to be there for each other. I'm going to try as much as I can to give you guys more information on how to live and manage with diabetes. I'm going to guide you guys where I can, as much as I can. I'm going to answer some of most of your questions. Those are sending me emails test questions i'm going to respond but bear with me i have tons and tons thousands of questions coming in every day all right so please i'll respond when i can and if i don't respond in time please i'm not ignoring you it's just i have tons of messages that i need to respond a day and once more if you've not uh, 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 subscribed to my youtube channel 
then you are not supporting me if you are only on my facebook and not on my youtube channel then you are not fully committed if you are fully committed you have to be on on both youtube and facebook so i will see you guys next time in the next video keep watching thank you for supporting me goodbye